on garage time we're doing another upgrade that i think anyone with an older bay window westphalia should do it is a seat belt upgrade now the front seats in the westphalia since it wasn't considered a passenger car they didn't actually have retractable seat belts so they had these awkward awful things that you strapped over you there was no flexibility to it makes it really hard to move basically do anything in the vehicle so we've gone ahead and purchased our two new front seat belts. Uh, Go Westy has a nice little kit and uh, we're going to go ahead and get that installed now. Here's our uh, tools and one of the kits we've opened. So obviously this is your retractable seat belt. Uh, we have a fancy little cap which will cover our bolt once we put in our new uh, receiver. And we have a 17 mil just regular ratchet and in the instructions they actually tell you to torque the bolts down to 45 foot pounds so we have our torque wrench ready to go and I don't know if you can see through but I can see here on the shoulder strap they've already put some Loctite on the threads so um, yeah we're ready to go it should be a quick easy task and we will be smooth sailing with safe retractable seat belts. So this is the uh, current seat belt, which just kind of hangs everywhere. And uh, I spent the last three minutes actually adjusting it so it would fit me. Um. It did fit me. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So, as you can see, Sean had no movement whatsoever. Once you're in, you're locked in. Reaching anything is ridiculous. And another thread is, as he's moving that over here, he can easily throw the clip against your paint. Yep. And other nonsense, it just kind of hangs. And it's... Let's, it, go, let's go for a drive. It was an awful, awful design idea. And uh, yeah, the kit we're installing tonight fixes all of that. So here we go. So step one is remove the old seatbelt. Now it actually told, told me in the instructions. Sorry, I can't talk very well and ratchet at the same time. It told me in the instructions to keep the original hardware for this bolt. So we will do that. If there's any guys who are die hard it must be original fans out there. You can look us up on the Samba. We're going to have some beautiful original Westphalia seat, seat belts for sale. So we did the bottom. Now we'll remove the shoulder strap. Typically you would have a plastic little cover over your bolt. Ours is no longer in existence, so we get to skip a step, remove plastic cover, done, simple. A pretty long bolt. So the next step in the instructions, we're going to install the shoulder strap. Now this hardware, it came with all new hardware, including an O-ring. Like I said, it already has Loctite on it. So we're going to go ahead and install that. Make sure our line is, or our belt is straight down to the retractable wheel. Oh, <laughs> that's your head. We don't need me smashing my head on camera, do we? We might. We might. Okay, so I'm so now I have that finger get that finger tight. The instructions also told us to torque that bolt and they want it torqued 
They're giving you a range anywhere between 45 and 55 foot pounds. So. so we're going to continue to tighten. We have our torque wrench set to 45 and it's going to click. There we go. So 45 foot pounds. That's what they recommended. Let's do a little cap back down and move down to the bottom. So now that we're at the retractable wheel, we have discovered this opens up. And the reason you need to open that up is the bolt wouldn't fit through before with that closed. So the bolt obviously now fits. But before you do that, you want to make sure your belt is nice and straight and now you're going to make sure this belt again is straight so that's the one you'll pull over so you have these stacked on here put your bolt through now so now we're on the base the retractable wheel so again we'll just double check make sure the belts are nice and straight the way we want it this belt Sorry, this belt goes on top. Now our washer, the existing washer is still stuck there, so we will put it on our bolt. Push our bolt through, and this is going to line up. Tighten it first by hand just to make sure I get a good thread going. It's kind of awkward. And that's why we've also grabbed a wrench because torquing sounded like a great idea, but there's no way we can get our torque wrench in. Um, so it's a seat belt. We will tighten it nice and tight. And we'll go from there. seat belt is installed. We will go to the other side and replace the clip. So now that the retractable seat belt is installed, all we have to do is replace our clip or latching mechanism. I've been calling it a clip. You get the idea. It clicks when you push your seat belt in. Again, they've given you new hardware for this, so the old one be removed, new one. And I was concerned when I opened the box because I saw this, well, just looked like a braided cable, but it's actually firm and it forms shape. So in the box, it was uh, curved in a circle and I made it straight. So I'm guessing kind of line it up from where we had the other one, tighten it down, and again I believe they tell you to torque it to the same setting, so we are already set up with our torque wrench. Make sure we're tightening. Turn back. 
back to it. There we go. So that's torqued. Came with a fancy little clip to hide the bolt. I'll get a rubber mallet so I don't damage it and break my hand. And as you can see, we have success! Retractable seatbelt in a 79 Westphalia. All right, so we jumped in the video and we were going to demonstrate how great our new seatbelt work and then we had a bit of an issue. We were noticing we had no movement whatsoever in the shoulder piece or the third point. Um, you need this to move to make it easier to pull in and out. So first we removed this piece of trim. We thought it was causing issue and whatnot and it, it still is causing a bit of issue, but um, we removed our piece of trim that did not solve our problem, so we ended up <coughs> deciding to remove uh, the fancy cap that covers the bolt. And once that was removed, it was actually the back side of it that kept hitting the metal. So once we remove that, yes, you still see a bolt, but the whole point of this exercise was to have a nice, freely, easy moving seatbelt that wasn't ridiculous. This kit's supposed to do that. So we will look for another plastic cover to cover our bolt but this uh, fix solved our problem now we'll demonstrate the seatbelt in action all right so now that makes a lot more sense reach to the dash let's see you move oh i can do things oh wow oh look at this i can adjust <laughs> No, it's good. It's a huge difference. All right, so that's how you install new seatbelts on a 79 Westphalia. That's all for tonight on Garage Time. Don't forget to subscribe, enable notifications, and we'll see you in the next one.